Welcome to the layout feature. The layout feature allows you to rotate, scale and group images onto one sheet without the need to change the original graphic or jump back and forth between image editing softwares. The layout feature saves you time and money by maximizing the printable area within the transfer medium. Placing all your desired images on one page not only speeds up the transfer process, but it is significantly cost effective compared to printing each image individually. Add a logo here, an image there, and fill up the printable area with as many designs as possible. Please remember the printable limits of the transfer media is 1cm from all edges of the layout. By placing images in these areas, you risk images being cut off when printing. To create a new layout, click on the layout button in the main menu. The next window to appear is the job handling window. This is where you create customer specific folders for your layout. Before we can create a new layout, we first need to create a customer specific folder or a folder which holds specific layouts, for example, rasterized designs, vector designs, etc. Each of the jobs in this list is a folder. With each folder, you can save an unlimited amount of layouts which relate to a specific customer, job, or design style. Naming and using layout folders is customary and can be used in any way you like. For first time users, this list will be empty. The only available option will be the Create New Layouts button. You can edit or delete previously saved layout folders by selecting the folder in the layout folder list, at which point the delete and select buttons become clickable. Clicking delete removes the folder, along with any previously saved layouts from the job list. The select button opens up the layout folder and allows you to add, edit or delete previously saved layouts. The other option which we can see in the top right hand corner of the window is the job finder tool. This simple and easy tool lets you search the whole layout folder of job list. If your job list is long then the job finder tool can reduce this list to the main options. To begin creating a new layout folder, click New. The next window to appear is the Job Configuration window. Here you should choose a name for the folder, add a small description of the layout folder, and choose your preferred measurement size. Once you have filled out all the fields and chosen your unit measurement, click Next to proceed to the next step. The next window to appear is the Document Management window. This is where all imported images, which you would like to use in the new layout, will be saved. To begin importing images, first click Load File. The next window to appear is the import window. Search for the images which you would like to use and click open to begin importing the images. Please note you can import more than one image at a time by holding down the shift key. After clicking open, the green bar on the right shows the progress of the import. When you import more than one image at a time, the transfer rip imports one image after the next. This is shown by the sporadic movement of the green bar on the right side of the window. You can see that the images now appear in the document management list. These images will be saved here forever. Clicking on each image in the job list will activate the preview window on the left. You can remove images from this list by selecting the image in the list and clicking delete. Check that all your images are correct before proceeding to the next step. Once you have finished importing all your images, click next to progress to the sheet creation window. The next window to appear is the sheet creation window. The top list on the right hand side of the window is where all your layouts will be saved, while the list below provides quick access to your previously imported images. You can create new layout sheets and import all the required images onto the new layout using both of the lists in this window. You can preview images in the image list by clicking on them. A small preview image appears below the list. This is a helpful option when choosing images to place on the new layout. At the moment, we do not have any layouts in our layout list, so let's create one. To begin creating a new layout sheet, first click the Add New Sheet icon, or the icon with the plus symbol. The next window to appear is the New Layout menu. Here you can name the new layout and choose the size of the document. Name the new layout, choose the size which you would like to print, then click Save to create the new layout sheet and return to the previous window. You can see that the layout which we just created now appears in the layout list. Clicking on the new layout in the list activates the preview window on the left. The layout sheet appears grey. Once the layout has been activated, we can now begin adding images to the layout sheet. Clicking on each image in the list activates the preview image below. We can take advantage of this feature to help us choose which image to add next. To add an image, simply click on the image in the list and then click the Add Selected Image slash Page icon or the icon with the arrow. 
The next window to appear is the page creation window. This is where we can edit the size, position and rotation of the images as it appears on the new layout sheet. The page size option displays the original size of the image as the image was saved. This value cannot be changed. The page scale option displays the size of the image with a percentage value. This option lets you scale your image. The effective page size displays the actual size of the image after changes have been made. The rotation option lets you rotate the image using the options available in the drop down menu 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, or 270 degrees. The page position left top field decides where the image is positioned on the layout sheet. Starting from the top left hand corner of the layout, the first field moves the image to the right, while the second field moves the image down. Remember that the printable limit of the transfer media is 10 millimeters. Please make sure that your images are not positioned inside the printable area. If your images are positioned outside the printable area, then you risk damaging the transfer. After making the changes to the image, click save to return to the layout sheet. Now we can see how the images appear on the layout sheet. You can see that the image is outside the printable area. To edit the position of an image which is already on the layout sheet, simply right click on the image and you will see a small menu. The Edit Page Parameters option lets you edit the image, while the Delete Page removes the image from the layout. Click on the Edit Page Parameters and add 1cm to the page position left top fields. Click Save to view the changes to the image. Continue adding all the images you would like to the layout sheet. Once all your desired images have been positioned and you are happy with the look of the layout, the next thing we need to do is export or save the new layout to our chosen transfer media job list. Click output to begin the export process. The next window to appear is the layout output window. This window has two options. We can name the new layout and choose where the new layout should be saved. The output profile displays each available color profile or job list. For example, laser dark no cut low temp, laser light no cut or multitrans. For this example, we will use the laser dark no cut low temp color profile. Click output to export the image to the chosen job list. The green bar shows the progress of the export. Once the green bar disappears, exit the layout feature by closing the window. Choose the color profile where the new layout was saved. You can see that the new layout has been saved to the job list. Click on the new window in the job list to activate the preview window below. You can now use this layout like a normal file. Run through the steps, add a raster, preview the image 